My name is Ishmael Kramer. I teach at the College of Aeronautics. I've been teaching there for about seven years now. Uh, I teach the aerodynamics class, the UAV class now, uh, aviation sustainability, and aviation physics. My background is in aeronautical science, aviation sciences, as well as environmental engineering. Well, I've been teaching here for about seven years now. Uh, I've come down to about three main aspects of teaching. So integrating technology, whether it's Canvas, whether it's Panopto, recording video lectures, I started doing that in the beginning. I found that that helped students a lot with their learning experience. And then uh, I've been teaching the drone class this semester, and that's highly technical, technical a lot of technological aspects to it. For me, when I add creativity to this classroom, I get the students to uh, get an idea of something that they've seen before, whether it's a case study, whether it's a um, thing that they've seen traveling through an airport. And we integrate that into the classroom. I say, you've, you've seen this at Melbourne Airport. How would you integrate this to another airport similar to it, but add an element that's different? So, for example, in the aviation sustainability class, I would go over the various types of renewable energy that's available that they could integrate. And then I ask them, add this, but add a different flair to it that's not seen quite in the industry right now. And then we go over it in class. So that's something that I like to add in terms of the creativity side. And then I started doing scenario-based training. So we do mock exercises. Imagine you're an airport designer or an airport manager and you have this problem. How are you gonna solve it? Whether it's using drones again, like in this class, you know, mapping a runway and uh, checking out if there's any issues with the runway. Uh, we just did one with an air traffic control tower uh, inspecting the roof after Hurricane Irma. So integrating scenario-based training, saying here's a scenario in your future as a potential um, airport expert, solve it. And so those are my three main elements of uh, my philosophy of teaching. For me, that's probably one of my favorite aspects of teaching is seeing uh, in the beginning of class them not quite getting the skill or the information or knowledge. Um, the best example I have is this semester. I have a couple students that have never flown drones before, never held a controller in that sense. They may be pilots, but have never flown a drone such as the ones you see behind me. So seeing a student being very nervous at first, not sure of themselves, and then progressing over, this, over the weeks uh, with the scenarios that I give them, the exercises that they're supposed to do, we see them get better at it. And then the light bulb goes off and then all of a sudden they can do it on their own. And they're excited. So it's, it's great to see them excited, come back and say, I, that was a great class, I'm ready to do this next week again and, and try a new thing. Um, so starting from the basic fear of this new thing that I've never done before, going through the exercises and, and seeing them learn and seeing them feel a new experience that they've never had before and then all of a sudden picking it up and doing it themselves. So that's probably my favorite part. And as a young professor, I like communicating with them in a way that they are familiar with. So I feel like I have that strength to be able to connect with them in that sense. So I bring in elements of um, pop culture and just to make it a little bit more fun and, and get them to remember things. I do small knick-knack things for memory aids. So I tell them, oh, you know, in this movie, this happens. Um, relate that to something we learned in physics. So that's something that I do as well in class that helps them learn and let the light bulb go, up and go off. Mm -hmm.